verses. You read. You I'm the Malachi, same. No, 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 no. I'm the same. Give me Deuteronomy today. chapter 39, Yesterday. verse 20. 20 no. 39. Remember. 32. You know what I want. He said I do not change. Come on, watch this. Listen. Okay. I'm going I'm to read what you're what you quoting. Right? Watch this. And I told you, you're reading. You're quoting the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 29 and Malachi chapter 3. That's what you you quoting two different scriptures. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you what they mean. I'm gonna show you what they mean. Watch this. Because the people might be listening. Watch this. And I'm God alone. Yep, that's true. And he says, besides me, there is no other. Good. So where you get Jesus Christ from? Oh Lord. No, you said Jesus oh, Lord. is his son. Jesus his son. is his son, bro. Yes. His son. Yes. Bro. Just like you his son. Interpretation, man. It's you gotta know, you gotta learn the interpretation, bro. Watch this. Bro. Watch this. Bro. Come on, you Come on bro. I speak to you. Chapter 32, verse 39. This is what you quote, Supreme. Prayed, man. Now, this is what you. <laughs> this is what. There, there is no Holy Spirit. It's, it's called the Ruach HaKadesh, bro. That's not what it's called. You, it is, bro. It's, no, you it's can, not. You cannot transliterate. Let's, let's read this. You can't let's transliterate. Read Watch this. He, See, now. You got to study, brother. You got to study, Supreme. It don't work like that. It don't. You went to elementary school. Was math given to you by the Creator? You had to be taught that, right, Supreme? If you have, not, if you didn't go sit your behind down and let some man or woman who already knows it teach you, you can't count right now. Today you can't count. If you didn't sit down and taught, was not taught literature or your alphabets, today you can't read. Come on, watch this. See now that I. Even I uh -huh. am he, and there is no God with me. I kill, and I make alive. I wound, and I heal. That's the scripture you quote. Me. He said he do what now? I kill. The Lord kills. Right. Come on. And I make alive. And make alive. Now, what, give me, give me. You tell me what it mean in Hebrew. It's not the same Let, put us on, brother. You want, listen, hold on. If you want to teach me Hebrew, teach me Hebrew. All right, let me tell you this. Come on. There's 22 letters in All right, right. For, for example, let's just say, uh, uh, so, uh, give me oh, A. Oh, oh, oh. Give me A. Let's listen, start with hold A. up, listen. I'm a baby. Give me let's, A. Let's, I'm, I'm giving you an analogy. Give me, what's the first let's alphabet just say, in the Hebrew listen, alphabet? Listen, bro. Let's just say, all right, your mom, your mom named you Tom. The T has a meaning. The O has a meaning. The M I got has that a meaning. You said that. Understood. Listen, every, every, listen. every, every character has a meaning. What's Bro, the first character? Listen to what I'm What's saying. What's just character one? All I want to know is character listen, one. Listen to what I'm saying. I just want to know character one. Bro, you got to listen to I just want to and know learn. character one. You, you got to listen. If you listen, you'll know. You'll learn. You about the, to tell me the character one? The creator sent me to give you something, bro. <laughs> no, he didn't. Either, either you can take it. <laughs> Supreme, come on, you wildin', bro. Read, read, where we at? Where we at? Matter of fact, go back to Deuteronomy 28. Give me Deuteronomy 7. This is who we are. This will, because Supreme, you're not going to listen. You're not going to listen because I'm not speaking in Hebrew. So you're not listening, right? It's like, it's like comprehend and understand. Everything I say, you say, listen, but what does it mean in Hebrew? Comprehend, listen, listen so, come comprehend on, bro, and understand. It's Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. But thou art a holy people. The Bible say thou art a holy people. You are the children of Israel. That's wow. you. That's our people. We are the children of Israel. Wow. We are the holy people of the Lord. That's wow. us. Wow. And we're to be the holy people of the Lord. If you look around, if you take note, sister. It's not many of our people that are holy whatsoever. But let's understand what holy is. Because he says something and everybody has their own interpretation or opinion. That's right. right? That's God right. defines what he says. When he says something, That's he right. says, oh, you don't understand what I'm saying? Let me explain that. So let's explain that with God's word. We're going we're gonna to read what the author of the Bible said and then we're going to explain what he meant with his own words. Come on. No, 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 no. Where, where you at? Oh, Romans. Romans. Romans chapter 7. What can you not do? Romans chapter 7. What can you not do with the Spirit of God in you? It's just like the matrix. Romans chapter 7, verse 12. It's just like the matrix. Watch this. So what is holy? He said, he for thou art in holy people. Is Remember, we were, we were the people that Moses was speaking to. We were the people who he gave the, 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 the laws of God. It was us. Other people was not there. We've been taught that other people was there. We've been taught that. We've been lied to. You don't find that in the Bible. And the fact that we don't read the Bible for ourselves, that's, right. that's how it is in 2021. Right. This old book with the same words in it from way back then told us that and we didn't know. We still think that it's talking to everybody or the pink people in, in the land of Jerusalem today. 
That's talking about us. Watch this. So what does it mean when Moses said, from God, thou art in holy people? He wasn't, that wasn't a question that he asked. Will y'all be holy? Can y'all please be holy? He said, thou art. Meaning, you better be a holy right, people. Right, that's that's right. what that means. That's when you right. tell your kid, don't steal, is it, can you please, can you not steal? When you teach your child, do you ask him questions like that, sister? Uh, well, you tell him. You tell him. That's the same way as the Lord. You're going to be holy. Now, let's find out what holy means. That you must be. Come on. Romans chapter 7, verse 12. Wherefore, the law is holy. The law is holy. Wherefore, the law is holy. Come on. And the commandment, holy. And the commandments of God is holy, supreme. The commandments of God. What does that mean in Hebrew? Real quick, come on, we ain't got time to waste. You said what? The commandments? Read it again. Wherefore, the law is holy. Yep. Any, anything that comes from the Creator is on, perfect. And the commandment, holy. And the commandments of God is holy. Come on. And just. And just. And good. That's why Christ said to, to, to the people uh, listening, there is none good but one. Why? That's because right. he was sent to sinners. He was sent to his wicked nation. That's we right. ain't holy. We got to get holy. We have to get back to what the Lord commanded we be. Right. This, look around. This ain't holy. This is not holy. Right. Look around. Come on, read. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. So we holy to our Lord. Somebody might have their opinion on what's holy. They might say, well, giving tithes is Second John verse 6. And this is love, that we walk after his commandments. So I said, if you love me, keep the commandments of God. If you love me, keep the commandments of God. Give me John 14 and 15. If you love Supreme, did you understand me? Did you hear me? Okay, you said you love me. Supreme, did you say you love me? Supreme, did you say you love me? Absolutely. Okay, so what does that mean? Keep the commandments of God, Supreme. Keep the, the commandments of God, Supreme. Listen carefully. John, chapter 14. You're not listening, Supreme. You got to listen, Supreme. Come on. Verse 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. That is what you will find throughout the scriptures throughout the scriptures and that's also in Hebrew that's also in Hebrew the same thing if you love me keep the commandments I'm gonna show I'm gonna give I'm gonna give you another one go to Leviticus chapter 19 verse 17 we give you we do this all day supreme if you love me keep the commandments of God that's right keep the commandments of God come on Leviticus chapter 19 verse 17 uh -huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother. Don't hate me, Supreme. Like, as I don't hate you. I'm showing you love. Okay, so I'm not just telling you. I'm showing you love. And I'm going to prove that. Right, Come on. Right. And not, thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. From the top. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Come on. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. And not suffer sin upon him. So what does it mean to love your neighbor? Yeah, we just read it. What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? I'm going to explain it to you, Supreme. Bro. What that means is to hate you is to allow you to sin. Right. To allow you to, I know you about to go in that store and I say, oh, he going in the store, whatever. No, hey, bro, don't go in that store. Supreme, did you buy that? No, it was given to you. Well, did they buy that? Did they buy? We just read it out of the word of God. Did we not? I'm going to read it again. He not, Supreme is not listening. Right. Come on. John chapter 14 verse 15 if ye love me keep my commandments what's the context of this if you love me keep my commandments what's the context of this all right check this out do not you use like the rap again, no supreme. do not use the freestyle do supreme. not use or misuse the name of the lord your god but that ain't what, hold on hold on that's that, what that ain't say nothing listen about he said follow my again. command it's only Girl, 10. chapter 14 it's verse 16. it's not it's only 10 words it's not the ten commandments that was given to Moses. it's more right that was abbreviation of 613 laws right. that was just an abbreviation of all the hundreds of laws that God gave Moses. Dude, let me ask you this, Supreme. Let me ask you this. Who do you think Moses was if he had to sit on a mountain for 40 days and 40 nights to receive 10 sentences? Right. He had to have been stupid as hell. Was, are you saying that Moses was stupid? Right. So what do you think he was getting for 40 days? Whatever was being given to him. 
it was more than 10 sentences. He just gave you 10 sentences right. because you're rebellious. No, so he said, I'm not, I can't sit here and teach you 613. So I'm gonna abbreviate all of it in 10 for you. For you, because you ain't gonna listen for 40 days, Supreme. You ain't gonna listen. You gonna walk off, you gonna ride off, you gonna talk over him, you gonna, that's what you gonna do. Read your Bible, bro. That's what we was doing. That's what we was doing. You rebellious, Supreme. You rebellious. Right. You rebellious. You you rebel. What is the what is love? I'm gonna show you how. What is love? Yeah, we just read it for you. And God's what God said what love is. What did God say love is? We just I yo, let's go back. Let's start from the root. Jo Second John six. I'll do it all over for you because fifty years don't compare to the five, ten, twenty minutes we've been talking. So I got I understand, brother. I understand. Let's start over from the top. Second John, listen, if you're talking, you can't listen. You asked me to tell you. I'm going to do it again. Second John, verse 6. Come on. Second John, verse 6. And this is love, that we walk after his commandments. This is the commandment that is you have heard from the beginning. You should walk in it. So when was the beginning that we heard this? We just read it in Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. We just read it for you. That was the beginning. The same, Christ is saying the same old law that Moses taught you thousands of years ago is what I'm talking about in, in love your neighbor, right. love your brother. The same law. It ain't different. It ain't changed. The same law. Right? Now give me, give me first John. Hold on. Give me first John 3 and 5. 5 and 4. I'm sorry. Watch this. Watch this. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. You, you, want, you want me to answer that, Supreme? I'm going to answer that for you. We've been doing this for many, many years. And we only do it with our people, which happen to be blacks. So do you really think, Supreme, you, what you're saying has never been heard? Is that really what you, we've heard this before? Yet our people are still in captivity. Our people are still living like this. Our people are still murdering each other, selling dope to each other. That's still happening. But people, Negroes in the hood are still saying what you're saying. That gotta, we don't care, we don't have time for that, Supreme. I'm being patient with you because this is the first time you're hearing this. So I'm being patient. I'm being patient with, like somebody was patient with me, Supreme. You understand? But why are we not listening? Why every time you talk, it's because you ain't speaking as the oracles of God. Give me that. Right. First Peter chapter 4, verse 11. That's why I will only hearken to the words of God. Right. I will only bow and submit to the words of God. That's, right. Right. That's the answer to your question. Right. Now let me show you God commanded me that. Come on. First Peter chapter 4 verse 11. If any man speak, huh. let him speak as the oracles of God. So if somebody got something to say, as soon as you spark, you know why we is talking, and I let you talk a long time, Supreme, because you were saying things that I can identify in the Bible. Now you start to resist what is coming, the understanding of what you said coming out of the Bible. I cannot listen to that no more, Supreme. Right. I can't listen because you are no longer talking life. You're talking death now. That's, right. That's, right. That's what you're talking now, Supreme. I have no patience for that. Come on. Put it, put it about in, in, in the scriptures. Because yeah, because the, the, cre the creator's the creator's name is in God. Minister, let him do it as of the ability which God given. You said, listen. God say, God say, the Holy One, the Most High. There you go. Right says, don't don't say his name. Do you say your father's name? You call your mama by her name, sister. What happened to your face if you do that? You get your teeth slapped out your mouth if you do that. But you can just, give me Sirach chapter 26. Let me back up with Sirach 23. Let me back up what I just said. I gotta prove all things. Well, I'm not making nothing up out here, brother. And you see young men, don't think that we just started doing this yesterday. Don't think that, bro. Hold on. I don't, what, are we reading the Bible? I'm going to look at this. Come on, you got what I want? Come on. Sirach, chapter 23, verse 9. Bring it up. Accustom not thy mouth to swearing. So don't accustom your mouth to swearing. What it mean if somebody always got to swear to God? What that mean? When somebody, every time you talk to him, talk about swear to God. Huh? I can't hear. That means they're a liar. They always got to say, I swear to God. They lying, man. Come on. Neither use thyself to the naming of the Holy One. He say, just like you ain't supposed to lie or swear, also you ain't supposed to name God. 
You're not supposed to name the Lord. So why everybody, why, hold on, why everybody that don't want to obey the commandments of God say, you, you ain't calling him by his name? Right. Well, what is his name? What is his name? You don't know. On top of that, on top of that, you're not supposed to give him a name. He will give you, give me Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 8. He will give you a name. He will return to you the language that he gave you originally. He will do that for those that will obey and wait for him. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.